At this very moment, we're busy connecting millions of Australians to the things they love. But what about tomorrow? See, although the things that make us human will never change, the ways that we connect will. We're building a smarter future where clever innovations will change the way we live, work and play for the better. And one thing's for sure, life will be easier. Giving us more time to focus on the things that really matter. We'll work smarter and faster. Machines will actually talk to each other so we can concentrate on the big picture. Communication will be the new transport. Immersive technologies will allow us to feel like we're in the same room, even when we're miles apart. We'll be able to be at home when we're at work. And work when we're at home. Work and life will be truly balanced. And imagine saying goodbye to waiting rooms. Appointments will fit around your schedule. And the world's experts will be there, literally at your fingertips. Shopping will become more social, more interactive, more engaging. In fact, the whole way that we transact will be revolutionised. Entertainment will take on new dimensions. We'll create more interactive experiences that put you in the heart of the action. We're making our cities smarter. They'll be cleaner, safer and more connected, capable of responding to the here and now. They'll tell us what we need, when we need it. It's going to be amazing. But no matter how much technology will influence our everyday lives, there will always be some things we'll have to figure out for ourselves. Paper Tab is the world's first paper tablet PC. Paper tabs represent apps as physical windows working together to create a seamless experience. The location of each paper tab is tracked on a desk through an electromagnetic tracker. Tabs held by the user act like full screen physical windows. Tabs at arm's reach in the warm zone show thumbnails of documents while cold tabs that are out of reach show app icons. These apps can be opened by touching them with another paper tab. When a tab is held by the user, its flexible touchscreen allows full editing of its contents. Here we see a user picking up a PDF document by touching one paper tab showing PDF icons with another. The document is open and navigated by bending the display, allowing the user to flip through its contents without requiring buttons or swipe gestures. Here we see how a user uses a bend gesture to fast forward through a video. The user reverses the action by dog airing the display in the opposite direction. Here, a user is creating a larger view by placing two paper tabs together. Because the displays are thin, it's very easy for users to draw or drag graphics across multiple tabs as you would with paper. By working together, paper tabs make it easier to work with multiple documents than traditional tablets. Emails are simply opened by touching the inbox tab with an empty tab. A quick dog ear creates a reply. Attaching a photo is as straightforward as tapping the reply with the photo. The email is sent by placing it in the outbox. In Paper Tab, each app is a tablet. It wakes you quietly and punctually with a gentle vibration, and by so doing, without disturbing those around you.
it won't allow you to get bored, turning the usual morning jog into an enthralling competition, having chosen an opponent well-matched to you, even if they're on the other side of the world. Go, go, go! technology of a wireless payment system, it will replace your wallet as well as your apartment and car keys. And what's more, it will assist in keeping tabs on your finances, helping to control your expenses. It will keep an accounting of your nutritional input by tallying up the calories of food that you buy in the store and deducting the calories which you expend through physical activity. In addition, it will not only keep track of your weight, but also the nutritional value of your diet, indicating to you in a timely manner any deficiencies or overabundances of vitamins and trace minerals which you require observing the chosen diet. It keenly feels and understands you so well that it can easily determine if you will like a new movie or not, even before you have watched it. It won't let you down, and at the point where different people's tastes collide, it will help to find common interests and choose music for you and your partner, matching both your tastes. The perfect assistant is like a person's character. Everyone has his own unique one. The S bracelet, an assistant with an attitude. and I'm here from P2I demonstrating our hydrophobic nanocoding technology. So P2I, what, what is all this stuff you're showing here? Well, I'm going to start with the tissue. This is a bit of a party trick for us. Uh, one of these is treated with our nanocoding technology and the other one isn't. Now, the coating is a thousand times thinner than a human hair, so actually you can't see a difference, you can't feel a difference, but if I put these into the water, you're going to see a very big difference. So our normal tissue is all wet like you'd expect, but on our hydrophobic tissue, the water simply beads up and rolls off. And the way you... So your company, you make a tissue? What do you do? <laughs> we don't make tissues, we make the coating. So working with electronic manufacturers like Motorola and TCL, we apply this technology onto electronic devices. And I'm going to show you why here. So normally when you get your components wet, you can see that the water spreads out on the surface and in fact in this point right in here capillary action is pulling that water into the foam. Now on our hydrophobic foam instead of being pulled into the device the water beads up. So the water molecules are now more interested in themselves than that and if I give it a little tip that water will come straight off. Nice, so you would put that inside the phone on the electronics? We would work with brands like Motorola and right at the end of their processing, we would go on just prior to packaging. It's supplied in a plasma chamber, which looks similar to a fridge. And we'll put about 800 phones in there at once and uh, the process goes down to a low pressure and a gas is applied and that goes both on the externals and the internals of the device. So, is your technology on the market or not yet? Absolutely. We launched in um, October 2011 with Motorola and in October 2012 we launched with TCL, so Alcatel One Touch. TCL, what is this? Now this we're very excited about because this is almost our next generation technology. It's got similar hydrophobic benefits to splash proof but it's got a barrier technology. So it's actually physically stopping the water molecules from interacting with the electronics. Okay, so can you show something? That enables us to have had this phone under the water for an hour and 55 minutes now. Oh, sorry, you, you wanted to leave it there even longer. Because... We're just going to leave it in there all night. Yeah. <laughs> and nice. in fact, on our booth that... Is that like a standard Samsung Galaxy S3? This is a standard Samsung so Galaxy S3. Well, we've applied it um, 
you have to open it up and put it all over inside, right? Well, it's a nano coating which is about a thousand times thinner than a human hair. So actually, the coating is applied at that low volume, low pressure as a gas. So it doesn't uh, necessarily need to get opened up. It can, can go in it's throughout. Yeah. Are we talking about gas now? Well, it's um, somebody explained it to me recently, which I thought was very good. It's almost like it's growing on the surface. So we're forming these very, very, very tiny polymer chains on the surface of the product. But right there, you kind of like spray it onto the phone, or what do you do? No, we put it into one of these plasma chamber machines. So we'll put the phone in there and lower the, the air pressure. So when you apply the gas, and put it under a plasma, it's going to grow all those uh, molecules together to form these polymer what chains. What I don't understand is this is a Galaxy S3, right? Yes. So you put it all over around and that's it? We can do, yes. So when we work with Motorola on the splash proof technology, then that's actually a really important part of us being able to commercialize the technology because that way we can be right at the end of processing and we don't interfere with their production line, making us very cost effective. Yeah, so dunkable for us is still just a technology. We're working with pioneering brands to commercialize the process, making sure that it provides everything that they need at a cost effective and industrial scale. How much does it cost? It depends on the price of the phone, so it, the cost is normally absorbed directly by the manufacturers, so, so the consumer sense, doesn't see. A consumer won't see any increase in cost. Soon enough, all the phones are going to be waterproof. Well, this is actually a water repellent technology, not waterproof. But so, that's the water right there. <laughs> I know, but waterproof as a, as a definition implies that no water is getting into the device. And actually here, this phone has water inside of it. It's full of water right now. It's full of water right but now. But it's still working. But it's still working. Okay, I still don't understand, but... Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's going to just stay there for a year. And nothing yeah. happens, or only for a certain amount of time, and then it gets pierced. Well, actually, what's going to happen first is that the phone battery will run out, and we'll need to take it out. <laughs> but the technology still stays. No matter if you scratch the surface, well, one of the reasons why we apply it in this plasma chamber is to get that bond with the surface. So it forms a covalent bond, so permanently applied to the surface. Is it patented? Are you the only ones doing this? We have 56 patent families protecting our patent portfolio. And we actually originated as a part of the Ministry of Defence to protect soldiers' clothing from chemical attack. Which ministry? The UK Ministry of Defence. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. And now you're applying this to films? Yes, and we've got other sectors as well. So we work in filtration, life sciences, footwear. In fact, even Timberland and K-Swiss apply this technology onto their shoes. K-Swiss in particular is quite interesting because if you're running a marathon in their shoes, you don't want those footwear to gain any more weight. Can you talk about the revenue or profits? Uh, Not profit? me personally, I can't, but um, I do have other people here today it's who could. Uh, we're privately, yeah. which will allow you to control almost anything. You just need to wear the ring and tap on the side to start your gesture. Ring captures and analyzes your gesture inside of it and sends the data to your smart devices. Vibration and LED notifies you of status updates and notifications. Each application has its own unique gesture mark, so when you want to use it, simply perform the designated action. Gesture marks can also be edited, making customization simple and easy. To control home appliances, simply sync a ring to them using your smart devices. You can connect directly or by using the hub. When designing ring, we had to start from scratch. We made numerous prototypes and each time ring got smaller while its functionality improved. Capturing and analyzing the finger's movement was also a challenging task. In 2013, our gesture recognition technology was still in its early stages. However, by 2014, it has been nearly perfected and is even precise enough to detect letters. Now you can type text mid-air, anywhere, anytime. 
We also provide Ring font, making typing quick and easy. Another unique feature of Ring is its advanced payment solution gateway. When used with GPS or iBeacon, Ring allows you to immediately make payment transactions, revolutionizing the way you shop. We will also open API so developers can make original applications and publish in the Ring Store. The Ring Store allows you to search for and install many applications. We've already tested and confirmed that Ring works with numerous hardware, smart devices, and web services. So now technically your device is on. <laughs> Can you tell? dream for running on the beach again in Australia. No longer does that beach have to be my nemesis. Preparing to give me a new life.